Okay, we are ready. So in uh, this uh, session, I'm uh, going to give you a very uh, short uh, description on uh, the classification of uh, NBS. And I will uh, try to explain to you uh, why do we need this classification. And I was, uh, and uh, then after that, uh, uh, Susanna is going to use, uh, uh, is going to discuss uh, some, uh, 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 to do an analysis of the benefits of uh, nature-based solutions and uh, she will be using a, a little bit of interactive uh, way of uh, trying to understand these uh, uh, benefits and co-benefits from uh, nature-based solutions. So, uh, again, uh, I want to try to uh, emphasize uh, that uh, if if uh, you look at it from this perspective, it is not a very good time that uh, we are living in. Uh, we are facing uh, major uh, grand, uh, societal grand challenges. Uh, climate change in uh, many parts of the world, and certainly here in uh, Crete, uh, we have seen the impacts of climate change uh, very vigorously. Uh, we will discuss that, uh, and you will see that in the field trip. Uh, last uh, February, in uh, two precipitation events, we had more than 850 millimeters of rain. I mean, that was a 400-year return precipitation. Uh, it's like a tremendous amount. I mean, in a nearby uh, watershed, we had seven bridges that failed. Uh, we are talking about major events. Uh, food security. Uh, if uh, you read the high-level reports of the European Union, uh, especially on the issue of food security, the quality of the food that we eat, uh, the fertility of the land, how we will be able to sustain uh, the, uh, and increase the fertility, it is uh, a little bit uh, glooming. We really need to come up with solutions uh, to actually solve uh, these problems. Water security, uh, disaster risk. Uh, human health in the cities, outside the cities, and then of course uh, the major problem of economic and social uh, development. Uh, it has been startling to read, uh, and uh, uh, actually tomorrow I will be going uh, up to Thessaloniki, there is an EC meeting uh, that uh, um, basically discusses uh, this uh, high level report. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, issues that uh, uh, unemployment, uh, the fact that uh, uh, economic, uh, the, the economies and the current economical system is not sustaining all of the people. Uh, we have faced that uh, here in Greece with uh, the crisis for 10 years. <laughs> uh, the standards of living have been going down. Uh, this is uh, worse than having uh, a war, being at war. So. Uh, the situation is that uh, we have all of these grand challenges and the European Union is very determined to try to solve these uh, challenges. And of course, uh, uh, the research and innovation is at the forefront of this agenda. Uh, personally, I have been in the U.S. Uh, for the past, uh, for, uh, uh, I have been in the U.S. for 20 years. I have been a researcher at the university there and I'm really happy to be back in Europe at this point of time because of the investments that they are putting in research and innovation in trying to solve these uh, uh, problems. Uh, and of course, uh, we have this uh, food, water, and energy nexus. Uh, the population to be increasing globally to nine, more than 9 billion uh, uh, people. Uh, we have the reverse by, nine, by 2060. 70% of the population is going to be in the cities. Uh, 100 years ago, it was 30% in the cities. So we are the infrastructure in the cities. I mean, you can imagine the risk of 70% of the people to live there. Uh, we are also having the problem with uh, the demand in the increase of food, uh, the demand in the increase of energy, and also uh, of the water. All of these things we have to increase. <laughs> At the same time, we have to adapt and mitigate climate change. This is a very, a very significant, <laughs> very difficult puzzle to solve. Um, 
I see this uh, problem in uh, the island of Crete, and uh, this is part of what uh, we, in Technical University of Crete, we want to contribute uh, to uh, the region, is that uh, uh, how do you solve this puzzle, even for this small island of uh, Crete? Uh, we know by 2060, the precipitation uh, and climate change is going to be at full speed in Crete. Uh, we know that if you have multiple droughts, uh, it, it can cause uh, uh, tremendous problems. Look at the problem in Syria, the refugees and so forth. Why was it created? There are papers that they actually show that uh, they has been created because of multiple droughts that happened because of climate change in, uh, uh, in the eastern Mediterranean that affected agriculture. And that uh, caused more than a million and a half people to move uh, from uh, the rural areas into the cities. And the cities became a hub of problems. So uh, we need to find solutions. And uh, uh, of course, uh, these solutions, they need to be sustainable. We need to find a new way, a new mode of economic operation. It's amazing to actually read uh, reports, high-level reports from the European Union uh, to actually say that the current economical system is not sustainable and it's not serving the people. Of course not. But uh, to have the European Union accepting that and setting it as a, a rule to change into a more sustainable way of functioning and living as people is extremely important. So, I mean, if you start thinking about all of this, uh, then you can really see that uh, uh, sustainability is going to come through innovation from solutions that come, uh, that uh, not mimic that it is part of nature. So, the question was, well, uh, do we really need a classification? Do we need a typology for nature-based solutions? The idea is not uh, to try to make things uh, uh, complicated. Uh, the idea here is that uh, I was uh, uh, thinking it from a different perspective and we had a task force uh, from all of the different projects that we were discussing this. The question was that if one of you is looking for solutions, how can you go through all of these case studies and so forth to actually identify similar cases? So it's, uh, you can see this typology more like a search engine. So uh, what, uh, as we go through, what we realized is that, uh, uh, and I will explain to you um, uh, more in detail, is that uh, you can uh, have the different NBS types. And then, of course, you can group them. Okay. And in the, NBS uh, that uh, are dealing with water, with uh, soil, with uh, urban areas and so forth, buildings and so forth. Uh, so this is the category and this is the type. But beyond that, you can uh, classify NBS in terms of the degree of intervention or the level of engineering that you are applying. At the same time, there is a whole list and another group of people that they have been classifying in terms of the NBS approach. And I will show you what we are talking about. There is another group of people that they wanted to classify it in terms of the NBS challenge to be solved. And then finally, there are people that they want to say, okay, these are the ecosystem services that they want to, that the NBS would like to provide. So basically, the way that we have seen it is that uh, you can classify the NBS and then each one of these, can, uh, uh, you can provide all of the information in terms of what is the degree of uh, engineering, what is the approach that you are using, what is the challenge that you are solving, and uh, what is the ecosystem services. And in fact, for the 112 case studies that we have, if you go in the appendix of the handbook, what you are going to see is a list of the case studies, and then also a summary of the degree of innovation, approach, challenge, and so forth. So you can go in many different ways to find the, the, the case studies that will be more appropriate for you. So, what is the first one? 
This is uh, the work that uh, Igermont uh, did. He published it in GEA in 2015. And uh, basically, Igermont said that uh, we have uh, three types of MBS based on uh, the degree of intervention, level, and type of engineering. So the first uh, uh, type is the no or minimal intervention in ecosystems. Here is the objective of the action is to maintain or boost the effects of certain ecosystem services in already existing natural or weakly managed ecosystems. Uh, this MBS type promotes better use of uh, natural protected ecosystems, implying the delivery of multiple ecosystem services to multiply stakeholder, to multiple stakeholder groups. So this is uh, the first, the no or minimal intervention. The second is NBS for sustainability and multifunctionality of managed systems. This is the effective management towards the sustainability and multifunctionality of ecosystems and landscapes so as to provide selected ecosystem services. This type implies an increased provision of uh, uh, fewer ecosystem services to fewer uh, stakeholder groups. And then the last one is the design and manage of new ecosystems. And uh, this is uh, uh, more the traditional approach where you are creating a new ecosystem, you are restoring a degraded ecosystem, and you are actually intervening to try to uh, implement uh, a new, uh, a new uh, uh, NBS. So uh, if uh, we look at the different types of NBS in terms of uh, the categories, we have more than 100 NBS uh, types that you can find in the list. So under NBS uh, type 1, we are talking about protection and conservation strategies, urban planning strategies, monitoring will be under these coastal areas, and so forth. Under NBS type 2 will be urban green space management and waste management, and then the design and management of ecosystems, the type 3, we are talking about all of the different types of NBS that you are doing something, you are creating something, you are creating a new NBS, either it is part of the water, in the ground or building in structures. And of course now for each one of these NBS, you can categorize it in terms of the NBS approach. And the list of NBS approaches that we have in uh, the literature, we are talking about climate change, climate adaptation approaches, community-based approaches, adaptation, ecosystem-based adaptation, ecosystem-based management, ecosystem-based mitigation, and so forth. And then, of course, we have the NBS challenges uh, to be solved. Uh, this is uh, or the equivalent of uh, the sustainable development goals. Uh, we are talking about uh, here the challenge will be like uh, climate mitigation and adaptation, water management, coastal resilience, green space management, air quality, urban regeneration, participation uh, planning and governance, social justice and social cohesion, and so forth. And the last thing is that uh, uh, the ecosystem services that this NBS uh, will provide, and that will be multiple ecosystem services, and if you will have provisional services, regulation and maintenance, and cultural uh, services. So basically, depending on what you, you would like to do, you can try to identify the NBS from all sorts of different approaches uh, uh, that, uh, and find uh, case studies that would actually be um, helpful for you to get ideas uh, for your implementation. So uh, one of the things uh, that uh, we did was uh, to try to analyze uh, the case study portfolio. Uh, we had 128 uh, case studies from, uh, that they came from different uh, projects. Uh, this is uh, 109 NBS have been identified, which is uh, uh, about 5% was type 1, 31% was type 2, and 64% uh, uh, was type uh, 3. And uh, then of course uh, as part of the handbook and uh, also we have a case uh, deliverable that you can download uh, from the platform where it is doing all of this analysis. Uh, you can actually see uh, how many case studies you have and which are the most important case studies that they have been used in uh, uh, this as part of this uh, case study portfolio, uh, type 2, type 3, and so forth. And then in a similar way, uh, you can see uh, how many of these case studies are using the different approaches 
uh, like a climate adaptation approach, uh, community-based uh, uh, approach, adaptation, and so forth. How many challenges they are addressing? How many case studies that uh, we have that they address specific challenges? And below is uh, uh, how many ecosystem services these uh, case studies provide. So you will be able to go, as I said in the table, to try to identify uh, depending on what you are looking for, to try to identify the case studies of uh, your interest. So, uh, this uh, case study uh, portfolio uh, is uh, contributing to the European uh, Union vision and uh, developing a wide evidence base regarding the benefits, costs, and the economic viability of NBS. So this is part of creating a common knowledge repository and uh, data uh, that uh, would be that could be used uh, to provide the scientific and the financial uh, business case. Of course, as uh, part of the European uh, Union vision, is that uh, we want uh, to establish a European reference framework for NBS. Which, uh, what that means, and this is uh, something that uh, you will have a presentation tomorrow uh, on uh, the common evaluation framework, which means that uh, uh, we need to be able to, when we apply NBS, we need to be able to evaluate the uh, usefulness. Of the, so we need to find uh, indicators that will describe the effectiveness of NBS. Uh, and, uh, so this is uh, part of uh, uh, what it is uh, being done as part of a task force uh, and uh, um, also we are trying to summarize uh, in uh, uh, the handbook. Then uh, we have the, to build an NBS, an innovative uh, community of uh, practice. This is where the Think Nature uh, engagement and stakeholder platform is uh, playing a role. And then uh, uh, the last thing is that uh, the European Union wants to become a leader in a global market in terms of NBS. So it is very important at this point to establish a new business and governance models uh, to show the business case of NBS and we will have a presentation tomorrow on this uh, particular issue. So uh, with that, uh, I want to leave you with uh, uh, the fact that uh, you have uh, the case studies, you have the handbook, and as part of this handbook, you will be able to try to find the typology of these 112 case studies, and that will help you to navigate through identifying the case studies that will be most useful for the project that you want to apply.